The 2000 year anniversary of the famous commission Jesus gave his followers to go and make disciples of all nations will soon be here. Those first disciples took it seriously, going to the furthest edges of the Roman world and beyond to proclaim the good news of the kingdom. They went because to love Jesus is to do what he asks and they passed down the task from generation to generation until finally believers today have received the call. We face the same commission today, but in a different world. Now the task before us is 8 billion people. 8 billion with over 7,000 different languages, differing cultural and religious backgrounds and worldviews. 8 billion lives with an eternal destiny and everyone matters. But let's break the task down. Where are the people who are not disciples of Jesus? And what does it really mean to reach them? We all have a responsibility to reach those who don't know Jesus nearby. But many places on earth have no disciples of Jesus who live close. And so the wrestle of the global church has been to understand where the message and the followers of Jesus are not through a concept known as unengaged, unreached people groups. Unreached people groups are those that have less than 2% followers of Jesus in their midst. Currently, 4.7 billion people are considered unreached. That's close to 60% of the world's population who live in a place with less than 2% Christian witness. Unengaged people groups are those groups that have no Christian mission workers who are living and working among them. Generally, people come to know Jesus through a mutual friend. That becomes hard if you don't even know a Christian, but that's the situation for 4.3 billion people on the planet. In the past 20 years, the mission's sending organizations have been on a journey to understand where these groups in the world are, then engage them through sending workers to establish a body of Christ in the midst. It's a slow process, but it is happening. Heaven celebrates when even one person enters the community of Jesus anywhere in the world. But the challenge before us is considerable. From the early church, we have been commissioned to make the message and mission of Jesus known. Yet there still remains 2.2 billion on the planet who have never been exposed to the message of good news. Many of us know a Christian worker. Perhaps you're one. There are actually 13.2 million people globally who have accepted the vocational call to Christian ministry right now. But the fact remains that less than 2% of this group will go and represent Jesus to an unreached place. And of the $850 billion in Christian giving each year, only 2% of this goes to any type of outreach to those that need Jesus the most. Sometimes we can get lost with these big numbers. You've probably realized by now the work of the Great Commission could do with more workers and more resource. But what should happen first and how can I be involved? Breaking it down to a few lead activities is helpful. First, getting a Bible in every heart language. This has always been a lead measure in the message of Jesus transforming a culture. Christian scriptures have been crucial in forming disciples of Jesus throughout history and the past 200 years have seen great progress in both translating and engaging groups with the Bible. This has sped up over the past 40 years, but the task remains great. As with many of the remaining finish lines in the Great Commission, reaching the last 145 million people who remain without any scripture in a language that speaks to their heart is a challenge. This group of people represent over 1,800 languages that still have no scripture in their language at all. Those that know God's story through His Word know that this is a story that needs to be told. And the basic act of proclaiming this good news to every person on earth is our second B finish line. With over 2.2 billion people that have never heard the Apostle Paul asked the right question. How will people believe if they have never heard? 
In broad terms, a little over a quarter of the world's population know Jesus in some way. The basic task is for believers like you and me, part of this quarter, to use all available means to reach the three quarters who do not. Breaking it down to where the majority of the need is, currently 12 countries on the earth that represent about 75% of the world's unreached people and another 12 countries have almost no access to the good news of Jesus at all. These are the places and the people who desperately need to hear and understand some form of the good news. The goal of the third B goes beyond evangelism and focuses on the ultimate goal of the Great Commission, making disciples. A goal to see healthy discipleship communities, bodies of Christ, making an impact for every 1,000 people in every place. The partners of finishing the task have seen an increase of over 150,000 churches planted in the past 20 years, which has helped disciple over 4 million believers. This increase should rightly be celebrated, but a simple focus on the population of the 24 countries with the largest unreached population, that is about 4.3 billion people, would mean about 4.3 million expressions of the Kingdom of God need to be established. But lest we think that the need is just amongst these nations, due to the increase in globalization and urbanization, many of these groups actually live on our doorstep, wherever we live. The challenge we face is to see a church planting movement in these unreached populations everywhere on the planet. It might seem impossible to some, but it is the remaining task. These numbers are large and the clock is ticking. Change only comes when individuals stand up and say the cause is worthy. And this leads us to the final B, breakthrough prayer. The Moravians, an early Protestant missionary group, heard the call to missions and went to the ends of the earth under the watchword that the Lamb may receive the reward of His suffering. But this only came through the inspiration and the power of prayer-filled lives and the desire that men and women everywhere would lift up holy hands in prayer. Prayer and worship arising in every place is our finish line. So let's take an intentional step today to solve these challenges. Jesus is worthy, so let's finish the task. Get involved today at www.finishingthetask.com.